Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install BIOS files to your classic system. Now for some of these cores, you have to have a BIOS installed to run the games. For other cores, they are optional. And then for some cores, they help with the compatibility. They make the sound a little bit better on some games. And I'll go over which systems that you need a BIOS file for. All right, so I created this image here to kind of help you out on which core needs what BIOS file and for what system that is for. You can see um, with the FBA cores, the BIOS file is qsound.zip and that's for arcade games. Not all arcade games need the BIOS file. I think um, Capcom System Play 2 games do, um, but you'll know which ones they are. But it's better just to have the BIOS installed anyway so you don't have to worry about that. You have the Mednafin PCE Fast Core, which is TurboGrafx-16. You need the GEX Press PCE and the SysCard 3 PCE. Those are necessary. You have to have those to run that core. The GBA Core, which is MGBA. You can install the GBA underscore BIOS.bin file. Some games require that to make the sound better. There have been a couple of cases where people have installed the BIOS and it's fixed their sound issues. For the PS1 core, PCSX Rearmed Neon, you have those three bin files right there. Some games will run without those. There are a lot of sound issues in games if you don't install those BIOS though. Some games will not run at all without the BIOS files. Some will have sound issues, but I would recommend installing all three of those files in your system. And then the two Sega cores, the Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive. If you're going to be playing Sega CD games on it, you will need those three BIOS files. Now something also I want to mention, the BIOS files have to be named just like this, including the case. Make sure that the letters are lowercase on the screen, remain lowercase, and the ones that are capital stay that way too. Like the Sega CD BIOSes, the CDE, those have to be uppercase. You cannot make those lowercase. Same for the other ones, they have to be named exactly as you see them on the screen. So now that we know what BIOS files are needed for what system, I'm gonna show you how to install those. There's two ways. You can manually do it through FTP using a program like FileZilla, or you can use the HackGee BIOS installer HMOD, which is found on HackGeeResources.com. Let's start with the easy method first. Here we have my folder with all the BIOS files I'm going to install. Over here is the BIOS HMOD folder. I'm gonna open that up. You'll see this file system right here. You wanna go into ETC, libretro, system, and you'll see a note right here to put your BIOS files in this folder. So all you have to do is highlight your BIOS files. We're gonna copy and paste them into that folder. Very good. We're gonna close this folder. We're gonna click our modules tab and install extra modules. We're going to close this folder. We're going to take the HackGee BIOS installer HMOD and drag it into this window here and it should appear. So here we have our BIOS template. We're going to put a check mark next to it. We're going to hit OK. And that's going to transfer all those BIOS files onto our SNES Classic in the appropriate folder. So if you want to do this manually, open up FileZilla. Once again, you're going to go to ETC, Libretro, System, and right here is where you're going to copy those BIOS files. So either way works, you can manually do it like this, or you can go the easy way and do the BIOS installer HMOD. I personally recommend copying all those BIOS files over in case there's a core you didn't download right away that you have an interest later on and you won't have problems running those games. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you keep stopping by. I'm gonna show you how to do a lot more cool things with your classic system. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, if you wanna contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.